Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. I think it's time for a Tacoma change. You know, I've been talking a lot on the channel about the 2024 that's coming. And originally, my plan was to go ahead and pick up a 2024, even if I had to pick up a lower model, which appears that's what's going to be coming first. And not only a lower model, but the type that doesn't have the hybrid system, which is ultimately what I want. Because I figured if I'm going to trade off the tried and true V6, naturally aspirated, I might as well jump full bore into the most powerful new Tacoma I can get. However, I of course discovered that that version is not going to be available until mid to, I'm guessing fall maybe even next year. You know, production delays, part shortages, who knows. Depends on where you live too as to what the supply is going to be. So, we're keeping this Tacoma for the foreseeable future until there becomes a time when the new one, the way I want it, the hybrid version, specifically the Trail Hunter, uh, is actually available. So, I've been looking at this Tacoma and it uh, seems to me like it's lacking something, like it's not aggressive enough. And I've been trying to figure out what that is. So, in looking at it, particularly compared to, of all things, my wife's Jeep. And it might be blaring to you already, I don't know, but look at the tires she has on here. These are a 285-70R17, and she's got a good amount of wheel poke on here. I mean, these things stick out, what, about four inches or something like that? So they're very aggressive looking. Now, that's also in part to the wheels that are on there. I think they're a plus one offset so that gets me, or her rather, the wheel poke that uh, makes the Jeep look really good. And I think it does look really good, right? Now, if you go over to my Toyota Tacoma, I mean, I think the truck looks pretty good. It's not ugly or anything, depending on the color. And I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like the electric lime green. Well, that's a personal choice. So we're going to disregard that. I like it. I think it looks good, especially in the lighting that we have right now it looks really good out here it's overcast and crappy and cold here but the thing that's letting it down there's really two things i think one is the tire size right now this thing has a 26570 r16 on it you can see right there they kind of look kind of donutty i think on the tire or on the truck they just don't look big enough and it's not really so much the wheel size. I mean, it's a 16 inch wheel, so obviously we have more tread wall. Maybe it has something to do with that, I don't know. But if these had a 285, 16 on them, I think they would look good. A 285 or a 285, 70, 16. I think they would look good. And they would look a lot more like what my wife's Jeep looks like, which I think is pretty aggressive and tough looking, right? So, I'm contemplating doing something with the tires. And by the way, I discovered something recently. I was at Discount Tire, because you know, it's what I do. And I was told that the wheels that are on here right now have been discontinued. I've had questions on the channel about them. People have asked me what they are, where do you get them, all that good stuff. The answer is, you can't. They're done, they're gone, you can't get them anymore. That's a bummer, because I really do like them. They were the Black Rhino stadiums, by the way. But they've been discontinued, so I really am concerned, I guess, down the road, not now, that if anything were to happen to one of them, I don't know, maybe I hit the curb at the McDonald's or Walmart or something, you know, and bend one, I'm screwed. I'd either have to run with some other different wheel on here, which would look tacky as hell, or switch all four of them out. And maybe that's something that the manufacturers do intentionally, right? They go ahead and discontinue them so that they know you're going to have to buy a whole new set, maybe even five of them if you're running the spare, if something happens to one of the ones that you have on. Kind of a bummer. So I would leave the wheels on and go to a 285-16 uh, or 285-70-16. I think that would look pretty aggressive on the truck would also maybe give me a little bit more tire outside of the wheel well 
Not that it's bad the way that it looks right now. I have a little bit of wheel poke. You can see if you look down the side. It's nothing too aggressive though. And honestly, it's really not that much more than stock. Maybe another, well, maybe another couple of inches once you go all the way to the edge over here. But in doing that, there is another issue. And that is the height of the truck. I have tried to run 285-70R17s on Tacomas before, and the issue is there's not enough room on the inside, particularly right up here in the front. You'll discover if you've ever tried to do this or if you do try to do it, you're going to have rubbing right in this area right here. Unfortunately, when Toyota engineered or designed the truck, they kind of move this inner fender in a little bit, as well as the front fascia of the truck, the bumper area. And in doing that, you have a protruding nub here, if you will, and there is a screw right down here, right on the edge. That's a problem, because I would find that when I would turn the tire and everything would kind of articulate around, it would rub, particularly right here in this area. Now, there is a couple of things you can do. You can get rid of the screw, try to move it back a little bit, or forward, I guess, and then heat this up and kind of push it in a little bit, maybe even a little bit back in here. Quite a bit, actually, if you want to try to fit 285s in here. And then still, if you have any body roll or articulation of the tires, the wheels, you're still going to have a problem up in there. Now, in the back, we run into the same problem. Down here we have this little protruding piece. I don't know what this is. It should be flush. It doesn't move. So I don't know if that's just a really crappy design or what. There is, I believe there is. Yeah, there's a bolt underneath here, or a screw as well. So maybe one could loosen that and push this in a bit. But what you're gonna find is when you turn, you're still gonna hit with the very edge of the tire, either here or over here, depending on which way you're going, and you're still going to have problems back there. So the only way around that is to change this, and by that, I'm talking about a lift. Now, I have gone with just shocks before, the Bilstein adjustables, I bumped the front end up about eh, two and three quarter inches, I think is where I had it set. Uh, and that seemed to work pretty good, although I still had to kind of heat up that little area just a little bit, a very little bit, and force it in so that I didn't have any rubbing. And I also had to sand down this little nub right here just so the tire wouldn't hit. Very easy to do, and I would say that was a very easy mod, but nonetheless... They still don't fit very well, even if you go with about a two and three quarter inch lift, something like that. So that's what I am thinking about doing because I think the truck deserves a little bit bigger tire on it. I think putting the 285s and getting it up in the air a little bit would make this truck look even better, almost if not perfect, in my opinion. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you've gone this route, without doing a lift. In other words, put 285s under there. Did you have any problems if you went with a 16, not a 17 inch wheel? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.